Okay, so here we are with the uh, lab number six, what we're going to do in Tinkercad. So this is the running version of the CD4511 uh, decoder chip, which is the equivalent of our, I think it's the LS47 decoder chip that's in the lab. So we're going to use this chip because this is the only one we have in Tinkercad. Uh, so this is connected up to a seven segment display and a dip switch. So this is actually running here. So I got all my wires arranged very neatly and in different colors so you can tell what's going on here. Uh, so the key things when you do this to try for yourself, so you're basically going to do this. This is essentially our modified version of part B of the labs. So this is what I want to see you try and then save in Tinkercad as your submission for this week. Uh, key things to remember. Uh, remember to get your I'm doing this on the large breadboard because most we're going to use the large breadboard for now on because we need space. Uh, so make sure you get all your ground wires down here on this chip. Pin 14 to power, pin 7 to ground. Pins 3 and 4 are your lamp test and blanking. Make sure you tie those to 5 volt power. Okay, that basically disables them. So they're not used. Uh, this seven segment display, you can either put it in anode or cathode. We're going to put it in cathode in order for it to work properly for us for the way that we're using it. Okay, so we do that. And then either this common pin here, which is pin three, or this one up here, which I believe is pin 12. We need to connect that through a resistor. So a 330 ohm resistor connect that to our zero volts. Okay, so that's done here. And then everything else should just be point to point connections. So our, our inputs, our four inputs, go to input two, three, one, and four on the chip. And then our letters just match up. So this is segment F, segment G, segment A, B, C, D and E, and those connect up to the same segments over here. And once you have that going, then what we can do is we can actually key in a binary number over here. So if I flip this first switch, that should give me a binary one, and you'll see I get the digit one over here. If I flip the next switch, that's a binary three, that's a two. You can see how with by the time scale here, how delayed that time is. But you can see that actually comes up as a two. If I want a binary seven, that's these first three switches all down. This will be a seven. If I put in an invalid binary number, I just get nothing. That's my seven. This one here should be a binary nine binary eight. Okay, so basically you can put in a binary number here and this chip decodes it into the proper segmentation to run this seven segment display. Okay, so do some experimenting with that. Save this guy and save it on, save it on uh, Tinkercad and that is your Tinkercad submission for this week. Thanks.